lot of powerful people. That's why Weinstein got away with doing what he wanted to do. Scott Rudin. You know Scott Rudin. Mm -hmm. Producer extraordinaire. And asshole extraordinaire. I'm sure. (laughs) That comes with the territory. Notorious. Notorious for being a complete dick. Uh, he was the one that that they had this movie called Swimming with Sharks. Oh yeah, with Kevin Spacey. Wait, is Kevin Spacey's character based on him? Loosely based on him. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> so Kevin Spacey's in this movie. Let me see here. I'll sh- I'll, I'll pull it up for you. Let me see here. Yes, Swim. That, that might have been the beginning of Kevin Spacey's horrible boss's career. Yeah. There's this movie called Swimming with Sharks. Uh, it's got it's got Kevin Spacey in it, and Kevin Spacey. He's a he's like this terrible person minus the dick grabbing, and he's just a terrible uh, executive, and uh, he just torments his his assistants to the to the point where the assistant wants to just wants to murder him. Let me see here. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Guy has just started working for the biggest producer in Hollywood. I'm not trying to be cruel. I'm just trying to help. What are you? <laughs> so I, I can't believe they're playing that wacky music in the background. This, this movie is sinister. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dark. It, it really is. And compelling. Like, you can't stop watching it. But it, it is nothing wacky about it. Scott Rudin is this producer. And he he's just been, and people have been talking about him for years, but he's just known for being notoriously shitty to his assistants and staff and putting on the charm when A-list actors come in. Mm. So... Yeah, this is Hollywood Report. It just came out. I was just reading on this shit unhinged. <laughs> Everyone knows he's just an absolute monster. Scott Rudin's ex staffers speak out on his abusive behavior. Like he's gone, he's like uh he's assaulted people. Like he got mad at somebody because they didn't get him a they didn't get him a flight or something on time or the flight he wanted. And he picked up a, a computer monitor and smashed it on somebody's hand. Oh wow. He's thrown shit at people. <laughs> There's a dude said I mean, I'm 6'3 or 6'4, and I thought this guy ain't shit, and he, he would wait for me to sit down so he could look over me and cuss my ass out. <laughs> Scott Rudin, boy, I mean, he's, 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 one of the, he's one of the biggest producers in Hollywood. He's EGOT. He's got an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and a Tony. Wow. Because he's done, like, stage productions of his movies, and then they, they have music that comes from these movies, so he's getting credit for all that. Now, I read something the other day, and I don't know if it's true. It was a quick blurb, but it said that Philip Michael Thomas was the one who coined the phrase EGOT. Oh, man, I saw a cartoon, and I don't know if he's the one that coined it, but there's a somebody did a cartoon where Philip Michael Thomas was going for EGOT, and I thought maybe that's where it came from. Maybe. Let me, yeah, man, let me see here. Because it's, I mean, it's one of those old Flash cartoons from the 90, from the 90s in... Let me see. But Scott Rudin, I'm, I'm pulling this yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. But I Scott, didn't mean to distract, but but Scott just... Rudin, uh, yeah, he he tormented so many people. And I just thought, because all these people don't want to, they don't want to say anything. Because either he, people say, I'm out completely. Right, right. And they could have had careers in other places, but they thought the whole movie industry was like that. So they said, I'm no, I don't want to deal with this shit. Mm-hmm. I'm leaving. And then some people just dealt with it because they didn't want to, you know, they, just, they wanted their careers. Amy Pascal at Sony. Mm-hmm. It's one of those people that was under him. And then some people just became him. They mm-hmm. thought, well, this is what it takes to succeed. But I'll tell you right now, I back in the day, maybe, if I would have known, if I would have known back then what I know today, I would have beat the <laughs> he tried to like smash my hand. You know, oh, physically yeah. assault somebody. Sure, like sure. If somebody that actually people, I listen, I can walk away from somebody yelling, but if you physically assault me, and you ain't shit, you know, as far as being, you know, physically, you know, mm-hmm. I, I would turn around at you. I'm like, how, how are people being physically assaulted by this guy? Because they because they want to, to move up in that career that badly. And men like that, like, attract probably people that are easily manipulative, mm-hmm. like, manipulated. And you're not going to even be there to be doing the work to, ha- you know what I mean? You're, you're probably going to be running some... Something else, or, or or you're there and he's cussing you out, and you're already Gone. a foot out the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they some, prey on the weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, the the other people said, you know what? I don't even want to do. Nothing. I don't. I, I'm. I don't want to have anything to do with Hollywood, and I'm actually happy. He's people said they had ulcers and. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, man. But see now, all they got to do is document all that and sell it to the press. Yeah, no, it's out there now. So I don't know if he's going to back off. But man, y'all. 
fuck that y'all take nothing from this that from this from this guy this asshole beating the shit out of people and everybody spreads the rumor that well if you piss this person off they'll make sure you won't work again it's, hey, it's yep. i mean and to a degree they will spread the rumor like oh this person's hard to work with you know whenever you hear that most of the time it's bullshit it's just something people say yeah they uh but which everyone should know like if you if you heard got told like well danielle's hard to work with i would automatically go like oh well then that's clearly not well, true i've tried to have a blacklisted all the time she, 